Hi everyone. As many of you saw on Facebook on yesterday, I walked my furthest distance uh, since having total knee replacement in March. I walked 2.5 miles around Shelly Lake here in Raleigh, North Carolina with a friend of mine. We had a great time. Towards the end of the walk, I was really tired. Both of my knees were hurting and we did have to sit down once or twice, but I was able to finish the walk, which was a huge accomplishment and I was so proud of myself. Um, but today I got up, I was tired. I wasn't in pain because of the preemptive steps that I took on last night to ensure that I had a good day on today. And those steps were I took a hot bath with uh, Epsom salt, baking soda, and some essential oil. I used lavender essential oil and eucalyptus oil. Usually 10 drops of each is plenty, but I like lavender oil, so I used 20 of each. 20 of it and 10 of the eucalyptus. Now when it comes to fight, uh, pain fighting with essential oils, there are many that you can use. Uh, if you don't have eucalyptus oil, you can use tea tree oil, you can use peppermint oil, you can also use uh, oils from the citrus family because they also have ingredients or properties uh, that reduce pain. So uh, after taking the bath, I took a 800 milligram ibuprofen and went to bed. So this morning I woke up, I wasn't in any kind of physical pain, but I was tired. You know, I haven't been able to do a lot of physical activity in a number of years now. About the max that I was able to walk was a quarter of a mile, and even that left me in a tremendous amount of pain. So walking 2.5 miles is a huge feat for me. But then I kept remembering uh, the statement or affirmation that I began saying years ago when I was in my absolute worst state. I was in the most pain I'd ever been in my life, and I was unhappy. But in order to change that, I start saying the affirmation, I exercise my mind and body every day. And what does that look like, you ask? Exercising my mind looks like I read something every day. I write something every day. Research shows that in order to maintain your cognitive abilities throughout old age, you need to exercise those muscles on a regular basis. So I've been doing that for years. The uh, physical aspect of that is uh, you need to do some type of movement every day. Now my movement does not look like the average person's movement. I've had chronic pain my entire life and as I got older the pain got worse. But I still made sure that I did something every day. And so today I'm still going to do something. Yes, I'm a little tired, but since I had a nice long replenishing nap, I'm going to do some yoga because it benefits me in the end. Exercising my mind and body is the best thing that I can do so that my days when I'm 60, 70, 80 years old, and even when I'm a centurion, because I have every intention of living to be 100 years old, that I uh, can be in the best state possible. So I'm making this video today just to encourage you. If you have a chronic illness, if you suffer from chronic pain, don't measure yourself by other people's stick because you can't do what the average person can do, but do your best. And today, that may be a walk around the block, and it may be just sitting on the couch doing some arm raises, but do something every day. It makes a difference. When I went to my first uh, outpatient physical therapy session, after having two surgeries and no physical therapy for 10 days, the therapist was impressed by the amount of physical strength I had in my leg. Now, it wasn't the amount that an average person would have, but having had two surgeries and no physical therapy, my strength was great. But it's because I've been practicing yoga for two years. It's because I've been getting in the floor and stretching and doing something every day for many years. So I just wanted to make this a video to encourage you to do whatever you can do today just to make sure that you have better days on tomorrow. Thank you. Have a great evening. I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.